Hey there, I'm Carl Hine. I'm about to do for you Out of Your Mind. This is my version of Paul Curry's Out of This World that I perform all the time for lay people. It's kind of my go-to effect if I want to do uh, that particular uh, type of uh, routine. Uh, so I have uh, the cards legitimately shuffled by the audience. No particular order. Have the spectator cut off about half the cards and choose either half they want, the other half I just discard. And um, then I'll proceed as follows. So a lot of times it's with one person, sometimes with a big group. So I will, in this case, you'll be the audience. So as I go through, just make sure you can see the faces of all the cards in the deck. You'll see there's a pretty good mix when you shuffle the cards of spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds, red cards, black cards, high cards, face cards, number cards. Uh, you did a pretty good job. But keep your eye on the cards that went through. You saw every single one of those cards, right? Now, well, I didn't ask you to memorize them, but uh, would you uh, have been able to memorize all those cards with your photographic memory? Probably not. But if we use fewer cards, if we used a half the deck or a quarter of the deck in this case, it would be easier, but still difficult to actually memorize all those cards just from one pass. So what I'm going to try to do, but your brain did subconsciously see that. So if I just take a red card and a black card from over here, and I go through the cards, I want you to tell me if you think the card is red or black. Don't think about it, answer the first thing that comes to your mind. So red, black, 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 red, whatever they say, it doesn't matter, it can be in any particular order. You can even give the cards to them and they can deal as well. And then I square up the cards. Say, so look, this is fantastic. Look, you red, 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 all the way through. We'll speed this up a little bit. And you did perfect. Always listen to your subconscious mind. 